How you doing, fight fans? EJ Boxing here, live here. We're going to dis- cover um, the career of Slick Alicia Ashley, as you can see here. Um, very slick from Jamaica, um, Southpaw, tall, awkward, to, awkward, they've got great footwork, speed, technique, and the first Jamaican woman world champion um, in the Super Bantamweight um, division. So we're going to follow her career, as you can see there's very great pictures of her. Um, we're going to follow her career and follow um, follow most of her fights, and um, I hope you guys enjoy um, on this tutorial, this t- tutorial on, um, on Jamaica's only female boxer. Um, this is a documentary, um, a little short documentary on her, on her life, and, and where she come from, so I hope you guys enjoy that and then after that we're gonna get into one of her fights one of the most infamous fights that i've ever seen um her third fight with um with Akuna. so sit back put your seat back on get your popcorn i hope you enjoy all right catch you in a little while peace it's called the sweet science but alicia ashley sees boxing is more of an art form an unchoreographed ballet of movement and rhythm a canvas painted with both subtle and bolder brush strokes. It's a performance. For me, that's what boxing is, is that performance. Alicia trains at Gleason's Gym, a place noted for its performers, from Ali to Tyson and currently Zab Judah. Alicia, though, has been a performer since she was six years old. And for her, it didn't start with boxing. When we grew up in uh, in Jamaica, I really wanted to be a dancer, and for 15 years, that's what I did. I came to America, I studied, I went to college for dance, I got scholarships at Alvin Ailey and Martha Graham. I was in a small dance company, and one year, I injured my knee. And that's when older brother Devon Cormack had an idea. I said to her, why don't you come by and, and, and do some kickboxing with us? Some, some karate with us. Because um, I, I tried some, some of the stances and some of the kicks. And she looked okay. You know, for a dancer, she was good. And that's how he actually got me to do karate. Because you, you told me you had the flexibility. It won't be so much work. And it wasn't. And from karate, Alicia followed her brother to kickboxing and eventually boxing. I needed that crowd. I needed to be in front of people. So I was always in the competitions. And then those got boring, and I wanted, you know, more accolades, <laughs> you know. Alicia shined on the stage. She won three golden gloves, a pair of gold medals, and the junior featherweight title. Described as a combination of Houdini and D'Artagnan, her elusive style earned her a fitting nickname. And I'm always moving, so I tend to frustrate people, which is why they name me Slick. <laughs> That's why my nickname is Slick, because of the movements that are there. Since she started fighting, Alicia's brother Devon has been her trainer. Devon's a three-time world champion kickboxer. I, I just feel like I can uh, be one of the best person to give her the, the guidance. Because, I, again, I'm, I try to look out for her. The best part is that I can trust him. I really can't trust him in in what he's teaching me. But from time to time, those brother-sister moments still pop up. We do butt heads at times. There's no ifs, hands, or buts about heads. We do butt heads at times when he tells me something and I say, I'm doing it. And he's already saying, you're doing this. And I'm I'm not doing that. You know, there are times when it gets really frustrating. She's, to me, I say a pain as a sister. Where are you headed? He just said to me, I don't know where your head is at. Because he'll put up two pads and I'll only punch one. I think she respects my, you know, my comments and my, me explaining what I need. Yeah, I have to listen to him most of the time. There's just nothing I can do about that. Okay, fight fans, so we've got the background on on, um, uh, Slick Ashley, Alicia Slick Ashley. So she's going against uh, uh, Mariana Sierra um, Acuna. For American Kuna's um, WBC Super Bantamweight Championship, who should be of uh, um, Jackie Nevada. So um, let's go live to Argentina and introducing Lisa, uh, uh, Alicia Ashley. Ex triple campeona mundial, Alicia Ashley. Alicia Slick Ashley and her brother Devon over there. Alicia Ashley, 54 kilos 800. 
800 árbitro del combate el señor Jorge Basile de Argentina jurados Aníbal Andrade de Uruguay The referee. Héctor Primerano de Argentina y Hugo And, um, León de Uruguay es supervisor el señor Carlos Marcela, de Argentina son Acuna. Tirados, y está en As juego el título femenino most of the great women champions CMB Lucia Raika como fiscal de la Federación Argentina de Box, el doctor Luis Arturo Doffi, comentarista, el señor Rodolfo Rilo, 10 rounds y el campeonato en juego. She's for Autumn, she's for um, Jack, um, the coal miner's daughter. Bueno, buenas noches. Uh, Christy Martin. Más importante en la carrera del juez argentino. A la orden de break, abrimos. Referees is reading instructions right now. Um, Christy Martin, Luce Riker, um, Acuna's four, Marcela uh, La Tigra, El El Eliana La Tigra uh, Acuna versus Lisa Slick. Actually, she's beat, Lisa beat her twice. She already beat her twice already in the point. So this is like the third matchup. Um, I feel obviously the champion feels like she, she uh, Lisa Slick actually deserves the title shot. Obviously, she's beating her twice. So we're getting ready. Round one. Yeah, we, we're ready, bro. We're ready. Commentators fired up like I'm fired up. All right, round one. As you see, Lisa Ashley, um, Slick Ashley, Alicia. Yeah, you know how she, you know how she fights. Slick likes to outbox. Use her, use her foot movement. And you know she was a former dancer before, so that's that probably why she's got great foot movement. Um, Eliana Acuna, who's a good champion. She's she's got had a WBA belt. Like I said, she beat Jackie Navar. Um, she got blown away by uh, Lucia Riker, but she won decisions with Kristen Martin, which is which is pretty good. But since then, she's picked up a couple of belts, and she feels obviously. Um, that Alicia uh, Slick Ashley should deserve the title shot, and then actually they're going to beautiful uppercut again. Um, so let's, let's let's get into the fight for this WBC Super Bantamweight Championship. Um, the champion uh, Kuna from Argentina. See how she um, oh, there's the beautiful combination by Ashley going to the body. Excellent, excellent. Great combinations. You know how Ashley did that to outbox. And you got the name Slick because she, you know, she's not easy to hit. Quite awkward, man. Quite awkward to throw people to hit. Um, from Jamaica, the Slick Southpaw. Uh, four, uh, she's four, um, five foot four and a half. Are they referring to clean and rare? Referring after break. No, they did break, break naturally. Here in Argentina, Kuna's obviously got the home support already. But this is a big fight for her. She's lost twice to uh, Alicia. And she definitely, <laughs> you know, to me, right now, um, as this round, this round's beginning, I think um, I've got Slick Ashley winning this fight. Tigress might have to do a bit more than what she's doing. In my opinion. Oh, that's round one in the books. So I don't know how you score that, but I've got Alicia winning that round right there. It's good, good bout. Oh, this is uh, this is round two right now. So actually, there combinations again, and you can see obviously um, Slick Ashley's got the confidence. She's really beating again. Look, Slashley moving her down, and you see the two of them, right? They, you know, Akuna obviously, you know, um, Tigress Akuna. She's got a score to settle, trying to score, but Slick Ashley again going to the body. Nah, nice left hand to the body by, by Slick Ashley. Again. Whoa! The left is landing his final home. Slick Ashley. Akuna hasn't found the Slick Ashley. Again. Alfred's asking awesome to break. Oh, they break cleanly. Good. Slick Ashley from, um, originally from born in Jamaica, she wears Jamaican trunks. Kuna from Argentina. Whoa, beautiful left hand by uh, Ashley. Scored well. Again, uppercuts. Kuna going to the body. Oh, whoa, Kuna's the swings and punches. Ashley ties her up. Wisely ties her up. Referee breaks them again. As Kuna started to often started to flow. Wisely tied her up. Slashley again with the left hand. 
Again, again, Ashley's just outpointing her from a, from a distance. I think Kuna needs to get inside for her to be more to get more success. But this is a very good tight fight right now. What is very competitive. But for me, uh, Sick Ashley is just like a big miss by Sick Ashley. Oh, she got cowered there by Kuna. I think that's the most notable uh, punch of the round so far. But the more, the more work for me, uh, Slick Ashley again. She caught her with the left hand again. She catches her, made, made a Kuna miss. Slipped underneath for Kuna's big right. The southpaw, um, slick Jamaican, got in the books. So I've got two rounds right there. And two rounds. We're coming into round three. Good bout right now, uh, live in uh, um, Argentina for the WBC Super Bank Women's um, Super Bantamweight Championship. Um, the champion of Kuna and the challenger um, Lisa Sikashi from Jamaica, but she fights like a Brooklyn. Um, a brother in the corner training her, as we just saw the little documentary earlier on before. Whoa, Kuna, Kuna's just there, and that's what Kuna wants to do. She wants to get closer and, and get closer to Sikashi so she can land her combinations. Then see, Kuna hits very hard. So Kuna's coming a bit more determined in this round. Whoa, swinging a bit more punch with a bit more authority. See, we'll see what um, Slikashi is going to do to nummify Akuna's work. Oh, good body work by Akuna. Definitely Akuna's coming back on the cards right now. Slightly, I've got Akuna kind of winning this round at the minute. We'll see if Slikashi also again with a big left. Oh, again Slikashi again with combinations. Against pumping it out. Oh, Hakuna's missing card. She can't hit uh, Slick Ashley with a bag of rice right there, man. Beautiful defense by Slick Ashley. The Southpaw uh, Jamaican is great footwork right there to evade the shots from Hakuna. Uh, Tigress Hakuna, she's moving in, but then she couldn't hit Slick Ashley. Oh, what a body shot by uh, 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 Slick Ashley. Beautiful left hand. And now right hand again and made the miss. Hakuna missed and she hits her again. <laughs> Oh, great footwork and great combinations there again. Slagashi again landing the big left. And for me, she's winning this round big. Akuna was coming back in this round, but Slagashi's come right back in this round. A good uppercut by uh, uh, Slagashi again. Again and left hand. Akuna had to give ground, but they're there. Again, Slick Ashley with uppercuts as Akuna tries to come in. She could Akuna, again left hand again and score these punches to scoring and they're landing. For me, she's winning this round right now. I got a three rounds up and Kuna has a one one round. Kuna's landed some punches, granted, but for me, the, the most success Kuna had a good round two, but good round three earlier in the start. Like she starts really good, but uh, Slick Ashley came back and just outpointed um, for my for my liking. But you know, never know how people are scoring it. But that's the whoa. -ho! Kuna's then Kuna's chasing her down and she, she's really determined to try and get to Slick Ashley. Oh, there, good body shot by Slick Ashley. Again, she calls her again as Akuna tried to throw punches. Slick Ashley is catching her right when Akuna throwing her punches and she's showing the hand speed. Definitely hand speed. She's got the hand speed advantage. Akuna she, Akuna's got a nice little dig um, for herself, but she's quite heavy handed from what I'm seeing. Body shot by, uh, um, by Akuna. In the ring, the clinches right now. See, the referee's going to break. The referee needs to break. Are they break, break themselves? That's good. The Argentinian um, Tigris is definitely trying to bring, definitely show, she bring on the heat in round four. But she can't hit, uh, she can't hit Slick Ashley. It's like he catches it again with the left hand and moves underneath the punches. Look at it, and she lands a combination, and they're both in the middle, both in there, working some in, in some infighting out there. Good boxing. This is some good classy boxing by the two of them. But for me, Slick Ashley is definitely pulling out. The champion. Whoa! She got called a big right right there as she came in. The champion needs to do more than what she's doing while she's going to get her belt taken away from her. For me, oh, Slick Ashley is doing a beautiful combination right there. So this challenge, this is the yeah, WBC Super, Super Bantamweight Championship. So for me, um, Slick Ashley is, 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 is putting away on the scorecards, man. And for women's round, it's, it's two minute rounds, and um, when it's championship bouts, it's always 10 rounds uh, maximum. When it's non title, it's eight rounds. 
Alright, that's the end of round four in the books for me, um, Slick Ashley, boys. He's pulling away on the scorecards, but you never know, he's fighting away. There's a brother, Devin, as we saw in the documentary before, um, how they have their connection, you know how siblings are, innit? They get <laughs> ups and downs and stuff like that. Um, he's a former, obviously, he's a former uh, kickboxer. And we know about um, uh, Slick Ashley, um, she was uh, dancer for 15 years of her life. She was, tra she was um, struggling, um, she was um, training to be a dancer until she got in. And her knee. Um, Tigress, as you know, she's a battle harder girl. From time she, and this is in her second fight, mind you. She went against Lucas Lucy Riker and got stopped in the fifth round. And then she went in her next fight straight after that. She went twelve. She went uh, sorry. She went ten rounds with. Um, Christy, the coal miner's daughter, Christy Martin. So she's on tough boot. And since then, she's just, from her second and third fight, she's pulled herself back together and become a two world champ, two way champion. So, Akuna, a Tigress Akuna from Argentina, she you know she's a battle hardened guy, but for me, this, the slickness and the, the movement of Slick Ashley is, is, is paramount right here. And for me, she's, she's definitely shit. But look, Akuna's a battle hardened girl, look at that. She's really trying to dig some punches, and Akuna's come out hard in the end of this, of this round. Oh, it's getting a bit scrappy, and Reverend needs to get involved there. Akuna's got, got, leads, uh, got Slick Ashley's head, pulling that down. And I think, to be honest with you, she lost to Slick Ashley twice, and it's frustration, and she's the champion right now. And she's just trying to do something to offset what, what Slick Ashley's doing. Oh, they're hitting on the break. Akuna's in on the break. Referee's warning the two of them, but Akuna like is, is getting frustrated by what Slick Ashley's doing because she probably sees well, oh, Akuna's going to the body. This is what Slick Ashley probably did to her in the, in the previous batch, what I haven't seen yet. I can't find them on, on um, anywhere on any website, but all we're seeing is this fight here for the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship. The Slick Ashley goes in, Akuna is having more success, and she went, whoa, ho, ho! Slick Ashley caught her right in there when she was right in the exchange. And Slick Ashley catching, but Akuna has more success in this round, round five, definitely. And she's roughing up the Slick stuff. The Tiger Rush is showing, he's, he's brought out her claws and she's coming, and she's coming, she's using them. The, the Slick start, uh, Ashley, is, they've gone toe to toe right now, they're standing in the square. But as you can see right now, look, Slick Ashley and Akuna, this is a much closer round than, than any of the rounds I've seen so far. And the tide might be changing. Oh, Kuna caught uh, Sigashi as she came in there with the left hook. Went to the body. Referee's breaking him. Referee's warning uh, um, Sigashi about her head. It's not deliberate. Oh, she got caught as she came in. Whoa, ho, ho. Tigris Akuna caught uh, Sigashi as she came in right there. And that might have stolen the round. I think she got that round five, actually. I think she, I think the crowd agree as well. As they stand on in Argentina, and they're cheering. And her brother, she definitely got that round. And she needed that on the scorecard, to be honest with you. Because she's down. I got her down four rounds already. So she needed that to the slip. So I got her one round so far. Legitly one round. Um, you may be scoring it something differently. But for me, she definitely got that round right there. But um, yeah, and, and remember again, she's the champion. Here we go. So that's, that's um, Slick Ashley was coming and she got caught with the right hook. But that's the only notable punch. But there were some other punches by Akuna. Whoa, it's a hard shot, but look. And it's still throwing though. But it was the notable punch of the round that probably cost uh, uh, Slick Ashley the round right there as she came in. Because you got drawn into Akuna's uh, brawling tactics. Akuna trying, to, Akuna trying to rough up Slick Ashley. And this is what she probably wants to do. I'm not too sure who that woman is. Maybe she's a female fighter. Or, um, but she's definitely um, a supporter of Akuna, of the Tigress Akuna. Round! What round we in? Whoa, Akuna's starting fast again and she's going again. Round six win. For the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship, um, female championship in, in, in Argentina, the champion Akuna in the white trunks and Jamaican flag colour in uh, Slick Ashley. Alicia Slick Ashley. She's beaten Akuna twice already, and this is the third meeting. This is the rubber match. Well, you can rubber match at least the Dumpin has to win like one of the matches, but right now it's, it's two zip and we're in the third man But Akuna's definitely uh, showing more, 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 um, more desire in this round. In this round, she's trying to change the tide right now. And to be honest with you, maybe she is in the scorecards, but Slick Ashley needs to go back to her boxing right now, getting drawn on beautiful boxing right there. See the combinations right there? But she's getting caught as she's coming in the Kuna's land. Oh! Kuna's pushing down on Slick Ashley's head. 
Oh, she's she's timing the slick Ashley as slick Ashley comes in with these right hooks now. And I think, to be honest with you, she might be pulling away. She look, she's timing her, she's catching her as well. And she's taking definitely taking this round here, round two, round six, man. She's got round five and she catches her again. She actually she, she needs to get back to her boxing right now. Kuna's definitely catching her with these shots here. And the crowd feeling it, feeling might be feeling something. Wants to revenge her two losses, Akuna. Look at that. Yeah, at least. <laughs> Slick Ashley picks up a bit. Referee's warning that the referee's that is, that is, that is a bit that's a bit biased now because she's on her back. What's she supposed to do? Uh, referee, what's she supposed to do anyway? I don't want to get too involved with the referee. Stick get back to the action. And if these two young female, these two females are definitely fighting for the one of the prize championships of the, of the female division. And I think Akuna might pull that round out. That's by the ruggedness. Rugged. And I think that's what Kuna wants to do. It. She wants to bring in some rugged, rugged war. This is all she wants to do. So there's two rounds to Akuna. Still, Alicia, I've got Slick Ashley. Uh, two, I've got four rounds still. She's still got four rounds on my cool cards. And these are the highlights now. You can see Akuna's highlight. There's the right hand over Alicia, uh, as um, right hand. Again, again, see, there you go. And these are the things they're going to be scoring for, see? Not all punches right here, they're definitely. And that might have got her the round right there. So she's got five and six, we're coming into round seven. Oh, the scorecards, they've got it tied up. But I guess that's, that's the way they're seeing it. <laughs> Me, myself, personally, I've got um, Slick Ashley, four rounds up. We've got a two for uh, Akuna. The Tigerish from Argentina is bringing, is roughing up, trying to rough up Slick Ashley. And uh, referee warned them about the head clash, the, the, the heads. See if Slick Ashley's changed the tide right now. Go back to what she was doing from round one to four. Akuna definitely wants to bring the rough style and bring it in. There you go, Slick Ashley going back to her boxing again with the uppercut. Beautiful movement. Misses the way with a shot right there. But you can see what she's trying to do again. She's trying to bring it back. And that's the thing about boxing. You try and take the tide away from the champion. There you go. And she there she lands with a good shot again. And she's gone. But when she goes back to her boxing, it's night and day. Akuna can't 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 live there. And then she keeps at a distance and keeps pumping out her punches. Look, and she's doing it again. Oh, could punch. Kuna catches her as she comes in though. But right now Slick Ashley's landing the most punches right now. So who do you like? One punch from Akuna and the combinations from, from Slick Ashley. For me, going the combination of punches and definitely landing. As look, the big left by um, Sakashi again. She lands again round seven, and she's taking the tide away from Akuna. Beautiful uppercut. Akuna dives in, and Sakashi is not there again. Goes in the beautiful body shot again, but see Akuna's catching, trying to time Sakashi with the hooks. As Slikashi comes in, if Slikashi just doesn't really dive in, then she can just beat her from a distance. See, there you go. Then when she doesn't dive in, then it's hard for Akuna to actually land anything. Yeah, beautiful boxing by by Slikashi. We're down to under 30 seconds of the seventh round. In um, we're in um, Argentina for the WBC female uh, um, band super bantamweight championship between Slick Lee, um, Alicia Slikashi and um, Ciela um, the Tigress. Akuna, Eliana Kokuna. Oh, beautiful boxing. There you go. She's gone back to her boxing again. And this is what it's night and day. Beautiful. As you can see, the crowd see. And that was a round in that she got in. That's five rounds in the books for me. Two rounds for Akuna. But that's just my scorecards. Obviously, I saw their scorecards of the, the panel there. They're judging the fight. And they had a draw at the minute. So, for me, definitely Slick Ashley won that round there. I'm not too sure who this female is, but she seems like she's obviously, you know, she may be maybe a woman champion, whatever, from Argentina, she's what looking on, or maybe she's a, a prominent athlete um, in a different sport looking on, but she's definitely a supporter of Akuna, the Tigress from Argentina. I'm sure their corner says you need to go back to what you were doing before, rough her up. Definitely, like, um, from five and six. She definitely won that round. We're coming to round eight. And you know, like I said, there's only 10 rounds of the championship, so it's not that long. So Akuna, for me, look, see? See, so there you go on the scorecard. They've got Ashley up by one round. For me, she's up by quite a few rounds, actually. So I've got them five rounds. Akuna got two and two. Round eight. 
So the dull is seeing Super Bantamweight Championship, and there's Slick Ashley again going back to her, going back, using her hand speed, using her speed. When she flashes her speed, again, it's not easy for Akuna to get in, and she's popping out the, the, the popping out her right to slap up her big left. Again, beautiful combination again, and Slick Ashley again. She's popping it out. Making making Akuna miss Akuna, Akuna oh beautiful slick uppercut by Slick Ashley again pops the left, the left hand up darts out body goes body shots by um, Slick Ashley referee's warning about um, using the head and going below but this is a very competitive fight right here the two of them are very passionate and this is for the championship of the world the OBC female championship super bandwidth championship of the world so you know the both of you there's a lot on the stake out there oh it's slick actually they're in with combinations with the under a minute now and for me right now the notable punches again is slick actually she's pulling away with the break they break cleanly there you go so they're actually keeping that at a distance, keep popping the jab, keeping the movement going. Oh, uppercut again. Under 30 seconds now of the 8th round in Argentina for the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship. Challenger Super, um, Alicia Slick Ashley, champion, um, Tiger Look Tigerus, uh, Akuna. She's got the hometown support, she's the champion, but she can't hit uh, right now. Uh, <laughs> she can't get um, uh, you can't hit Slick Ashley with a bag of rice, and I've got Slick Ashley pulling away. So that's six rounds for me in the cards. Unless there's anything else, unless someone else is seeing something different, for me she's pulling away in the cards, definitely. Six rounds to two. And we're coming into round nine. Para quedarse con el octavo round. Diez para Ashley, nueve para Marcela Acuña, setenta y ocho, setenta y seis para la jamaiquina que está haciendo correctamente las cosas. Todo esto producto del ingenio y la muy buena. Coming up to round nine, boy. Who they got there? See, they got there. You go. See, Ashley's up by two points on their scorecard, and you can see it already. She's pulling away in the card. Claim to see, um, you know, anyone watching who's winning the fight right now? It's a big crowd on hand. So obviously, they've come out home support for the for the for the um, for Akuna, the Tigress. But for me, she's definitely it's like Ashley's pulling away, and you can see why she beat her in two other occasions. You know, there you go. The Jamaican Southpaw, Slick Southpaw, beautiful boxing skills. She used to be a former dancer, turned boxer, and she's definitely showing her boxer class right here, her pedigree. Look at the movement. She's going back to the movement. We're in round nine for the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship in Argentina. The champion Akuna. Look at that. Akuna still trying to bring it back. What she was doing in round six and five, trying to bring it into a war. Slick Ashley's not trying to. She's keeping that distance. Just going back to her boxing. And it's what you need to do. If that's, if that's what you're good at, stick to what you're good at. Akuna is trying to get to what close throw punches. That's what Akuna's good at. Akuna with all them wars with Lucia Riker and, and Christy Martin, yeah, and um, Jackie Navarre, which she won that comfortably. Boy, he might have taken her toe now. Slick Ashley goes to work on her. And going to both go to body some beautiful punches by her Slick Ashley right there. Pumping the jab from the right hand. Made her miss. See, made her miss, made her pay. That's what boxing's about. See, miss him. Look at that. Can't land nothing. It's like how she's popping her, catching her as she comes in. Popping her head as she comes in. Oh, she's catching her beautifully as she comes in. And this is where Akuna needs to be, but Slick Ashley's out working her in the inside right now. Akuna's not friend. One punch, really notable. We're under a minute in the, um, the ninth round. The champion, the WBC Bantamweight champion, Akuna needs to do something more than what she's doing. For me, to try and take it away because um, Slick Ashley's taking the right, taking the fight away. Beautiful upper left uppercut again. Slick Ashley's under 30 seconds of the ninth round, the WBC Super Bantamweight champion, and you see the challenger is definitely looking, she's definitely taking it away. She's, she's, for me, she's huge on the scorecards right now, under 20 seconds right now. And see Akuna, and you can see by the crowd as well, the crowd interaction, see the crowd, they can see what's going on here. Like, yeah, you see Slick Ashley there working, oh, beautiful combinations by Slick Ashley, and Akuna's just taking a lot of punches to go, and that's around in the books right there. 
I've got it set. I've got it. Like, she's up big on the scorecards for me. And Akuna needs a knockout for me for her to win the fight. That's the only that's the way she's going to win the fight. She needs a knockout. And we're in round nine right here. Are we coming into round two? Oh, this is the champ. Sorry, we're the championship round, man. And this is it, man. This is the final round for the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship between the Tigerist Akuna and... Alicia Slick Ashley and they're going to war right here she's up big man oh she's up big on the scorecards I got Alicia Slick Ashley seven rounds man seven rounds I've got her winning in the book seven rounds and I've got only Akuna winning two two rounds I've got Akuna and big the round she won McBride they were big but other than that there's nothing it's night and day two rounds in max if if you know if you guys watching seeing something different you need to let me know what round that I might have missed out but for this is what I'm seeing. Oh Slick Ashley definitely showing and she beat her look she, she can see she how she beat her twice. Beautiful look you can see the referee breaking him clean. It's been a very competitive high energy fight between the two of them but you can see the class difference right here and as like i said the wars with lucia riker um christy martin the coal miner's daughter um definitely like and and, and jackie navarre might have took his toll on the champion and for me the champion needs a knockout for her to win and for me like all the all these uh, alicia stick has to do is stay on her feet keep boxing and she's won around a minute now in the 10th round for the wbc super bantamweight championship from the Jamaica fighting out of New York Alicia Slick Ashley man for me is definitely taking the belt home back to Jamaica or New York wherever she wants to defend it but she's becoming new champion tonight and this Slick Ash um, um, definitely for Akuna but it might have been it might have been too a bit too far the referee's breaking them heads apart under 20 seconds now and they're going to war you can see Akuna that's holding on right now as you can see Akuna Referee can break better than the grabbing their heads. I look, you see, it's, it's cementing her legacy, cementing the win right now. Look at that, she's driving Akuna back, and that's it. And that's it. It's in the books, and Akuna knows she's lost the fight. Look at her body language with her head down. The crowd are happy. It was an entertaining fight, but you know, Akuna looks like she's lost the fight, and they brace in the middle of the ring. Akuna's got her hands up, but well, I'm not too sure. That might be back for Vado right now, but for me, Alicia Sick actually won the fight. I can't say, Kuna, you can't really, really put your hands up in the air and say you won that fight, really. Because the crowd know, you know, come on. You really got beat in that fight right there for me you know for me and that's slick actually i got eight rounds to two for akuna one two rounds six i got uh, akuna one round five and six and that's it that's all the rounds i've gave i gave akuna man and um she you know from that piece she, she tried but other than that man i think actually it was a six and seven so i think akuna was a six and seven where she where she changed trying to change the tide but other than that slick as she got outboxed slickly so we're gonna go to the scorecards at some point. And let's see, let's get to this get there. And we've got a new champion for me. A new super WBC super female champion. And her name is Alicia Slick Ashley. I tell you what, man, it's a very high, high charge fight. As our brother Devin, as we saw in the documentary before, coming into the thing, coming into, into the bar, learning a bit more about uh, uh, Lisa Sagashi, the first female uh, Jamaican champion, obviously she's been champion, but tonight, is she going to take the strap home? There's the, the champion Akuna, she's dead, but this might be her last night right now. Listen, you see, see what the commentators, the commentators have her up, the commentators know she's up, I know she's up, so let's see how they go, the judges have scored the, scored the fight. So everyone's just doing the clapping. Marcela Acuña está con un gracias, un muchas gracias que creo que le importa más que la recepción de un veredicto. Let's go to the scorecards, man. Eh? Sabe lo que pasó sobre el ring. Es consciente. Y vamos a ver, mis amigos. Oh. Mucha confraternidad en el ring. Va recibiendo Jorge Morales las tarjetas. Repetimos boxeo de primera y su marcador Charito. 98 They're taking time with the scorecard. What's going on? Taking a bit. What? Taking a bit long, isn't it, for the scorecards, man? 
for the scorecards taking a bit long. For me, this should be this should be easy. It's a foregone conclusion for me. The champion um, Tigris Akuna has only won two rounds. You can't really guarantee. Uh, you know what? When it takes like when the cards are taking this long, you know there's something going on here. I think there's something going on here. It's taking way too long. I think the the ring announcer, the master MC, should be should already um they should already announce this fight already in the books taking a while right now um i sent something going on are we ready Jorge Morales. i think we're ready now master ceremonies Tarjeta del señor Héctor Primerano, 96 puntos para Acuña, 95 para Asli, ganador Acuña. Tarjeta del señor Aníbal Andrade de Uruguay, 95 puntos para Acuña, 95 para Asli, empate, ganadora por Pusquena y retiene su corona. CMB, la tigresa, Marcia Are you crazy? What's that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my day, she go, what's a robbery? Oh my day, that's a robbery, that's broad day the robbery. Alright, so what the school cards here? We've got here. We got the school cards. Um we got 96, 96, 94, 96 for uh, Akuna, for Ashley. We got 95, 95 a draw, and 90, so it's but they got a majority decision. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. <laughs> I can't believe in Argentina like oh, that's how bad it that's terrible that's a terrible decision you know that's a real bad decision I can't believe it I can't believe it how can you oh my and she you know what you have to be on it even the people on the scoring thing right they know she lost the fight and she's celebrating like she won something what did she actually win there like she lost the fight right there she had two rounds and this is like oh, shit no, no, no. I have no idea you know like um, I guess you know when you fight out your home there it's like Germany and in them country they do that but I'm sure um, Alicia Shikashi has something to say about it this man no Akuna Tigris Kuna you got a gift decision in your hometown but I don't think you won let's see what Sikashi has to say about this and I, and I believe I won I believe I won against Akuna I really did because this is the third time I went to to Argentina to fight her and she was actually re she actually retired instead of giving me the rematch because I was a mandatory rematch for her and she wouldn't give it to me I really believe that I won that fight. Slick Ashley entering the ring here at the Rio Vista Outdoor Amphitheater at Harrah's in Laughlin, Nevada. Along with the knockout Mia St. John and the flushing flash Kevin Kelly, Tim Neverett here getting set for the main event. As Alicia Ashley, a record of 10, 5, and 1. Gets set for a bantamweight eight round match with Elena Baby Doll Reed out of Phoenix. She's 16, 1, and 5 unbeaten in her last 20 fights. And Alicia Slick Ashley, trained by Hector Roca. Roca of million dollar baby fame, trained the actress Hilary Swank, that Academy Award winning movie. And he has given some award winning moves to Alicia Ashley, who didn't earn that nickname slick by being a slouch pretty good that should be a pretty good battle and getting set for the entrance of baby doll reed who has spent much of her time in this part of the country training in las vegas mostly in phoenix these days and we've seen three pretty good fights so far heather
Tyler Percival in a Bantamweight match. Getting the decision over Jennifer Salinas. Osa Sandell and Yolanda Swindell fighting to a draw. Akande Fountain. A technical knockout over Shelly Burton. A minute 29 into the seventh round. And Baby Doll Reed. The Pink Silks coming in now. How about Elena Baby Doll Reed? She is very popular on the women's circuit. Yeah, well, you know, that's what girls need. You know, popularity develops women's boxing, makes it more popular. People want to see it. The movie, does, the movie does, definitely doesn't hurt it. You know what I'm saying? Million Dollar Baby. So I think this is one of the girls that could definitely keep leading the game as Mia has, has retirement and Chrissy St. Martin. I mean, Chrissy Martin, you know, had such retirement. Um, uh, even Layla. So we'll see what happens. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Rock and Sock Productions in association with Harrah's Laughlin Casino and Hotel presents a ring of their own main event of the evening, eight rounds in the bantamweight division. Your referee for this event, the pride of Laughlin, Nevada, Jay Nady. Introducing the principals first, in the blue corner to my right, wearing the colors of the Jamaican flag, black, green, and gold trunks, weighing 116 pounds. Her professional record reads, 10 victories, five defeats, one draw. She hails from Jamaica, but boxes out of Long Island, New York. Here is Slick Alicia. Ashley, Ashley. Her opponent in the red corner, wearing the baby blue trunks with pink trim, weighing in at 116 and three quarter pounds. Her professional record, 16 victories, one defeat, five draws, and five knockouts. See boxes out of Phoenix, Arizona. Here is Elena Baby Doll Reed. Reed. Eight rounds, phantom weights. Do you have any questions? I'll be my command. Eight rounds. That cup's okay. Okay? All right, set for our main event as Elena Baby Doll Reed gets set to battle Alicia Ashley. This should be a very good one. Reed 16, 1, and 5, six knockouts. As we told you, unbeaten in her last 20 bouts. And Ashley 10, 5, and 1, and here we go. Round one of eight scheduled. Reed trains with Cornelius Boza Edwards. He was pretty good in his own right. Great champion. I like Cornelius Boza Edwards. I remember a fight, I always tease him about when I see it. He knocked out Guy Villegas with an uppercut. And I tell him he has a very good uppercut. And uh, we'll see tonight if Reed has that as he's passed it on. For me, these are a couple of fighters you're familiar with. Oh, definitely. These are these are some very skilled fighters right here. They have a lot of experience, great technique. Unlike the last fight we saw, where Burton and Font were going toe to toe, these two are trying to feel each other out here in round one. Yeah, they're much more experienced. I think I see that Ashley's doing. She's boxing with a long step jab. She has a very long arms for a, you know, for her size. You look at, and she's landing on Reed consistently just now, but a nice one too. Um, the idea is, can Reed get on the inside and work the body? One of the other differences in this fight that we haven't seen on the card yet, both southpaws. Very awkward. I know a lot about that. And southpaws hate fighting each other, from yeah, I what do. I hear. I'm a southpaw, and I hate it. You don't it. like it. I don't mind, no. I don't mind fighting a southpaw. I don't like training for them because I got to find sparring. Right, and it, right. and it, I'm frustrated in the gym because I'm desperate. I don't have the advantage. 
It takes an advantage, which means southpaw means that, you know, it's from the other side, which is called orthodox, which is right-handed. And right now, uh, Lynn Reed is fighting somebody who's just like herself, and she usually don't got yeah. the advantage. Now she doesn't. Coming down to the end of round one. Alicia Ashley wearing the colors of the island of Jamaica. That's where she was born. <laughs> round one, kind of a feel them out sort of period. Well, I did that round to Ashley. I thought Ashley boxed very well. Uh, Court Reed reaching in. Reed is going to have to bend the knees and come in behind a jab. She just can't rush in with her head like she is like she's doing this, uh, this round, last round. If she comes in, she got to come with a different game plan this round. She's got to cut the ring off. It's called cut the ring off. You take your foot, step outside, and leave with straight left hands. That's what Reed has to do to slow Ashley down. If she doesn't do that, then Ashley could box all night long. Chris Ben trains Baby Doll Reed. You see Hector Roca having some words now with Alicia Ashley. First round action. Here we take a look at the action. Two southpaws that face each other. They see the long, long jab by Ashley lands effectively, and she moves away and she uh, starts over again. Nice overhand left. I mean, you know. She, she boxes very well. She uses her reach to her advantage. Round two. And the southpaw is back at it again. Trying to find just the right spot to throw. It's an eight-round fight. I'm wondering that can Ashley keep that movement up for eight rounds like she's doing. She's uh, when you're doing that much movement. She's landing effective shots, but uh, can she keep that up for eight rounds? For, well, seven remaining. Mia, what well, would you do differently right now if you was Reed and how you would get to Ashley? Well, eventually, Elena's going to have to figure out that she's going to have to cut off that ring. Otherwise, like you said, Alicia's just going to be boxing her all night long. Do you feel that uh, Reed needs to come behind a jab? I mean, she's not trying to... If they call it finding him. If you touch her, you can find her. That Reed is not trying to touch her. She's trying to punch her. Right, she's definitely not jabbing her way in. She's not cutting off the ring. And I'm surprised because Elena is a very skilled fighter. She's got a lot of experience, and that's something that um, you would expect her to know. Do you feel that's happening because she is fighting another southpaw? Maybe she does a lot easier against right-handed fighters. I, I think so, because even she said herself, I believe, that she does not like fighting southpaws. So you don't think that she's as prepared as she should be? Uh, fighting a southpaw? He's been uh, sparring with a lot of southpaws, but, you know, you never you never know how you're going to do, you know, like I said, come fight night. Sparring and actually fighting are two different things. Well, Ashley's making Reed chase her all over the ring right now. Yeah, she is. she's a very slick fighter, Alicia. That's the nickname. Nice one, too, by uh, Ashley, and uh, she's catching Reed Reed. Both fighters to their respective corners, and Alicia Ashley in round two, really, on the bike and keeping away from Elena Baby Doll Reed, and wouldn't have an opportunity. <laughs> Trying to make a strike. Well, Hector Mocha's talking to her. He wants, uh, from what I've seen, he wants a little more, a little more busy with the punches, a little more combinations, let him fly. Um, I think the key for Ashley in this fight is keep making Reed miss and making her pay. And the key for Reed is to cut the ring off right. and stop letting Ashley utilize that jab. You know, I find a lot of people always say, you know, uh, an instruction, uh, you gotta cut the ring off, but they don't understand what cut the ring off means. And what right. cut the ring off means is you allow that person to utilize as little of that ring as possible, and they can't move left or right. And how you do right. that, you step your foot on the outside of their foot, and they step the other way. You cut the ring off with your other leg that way, too, so it minimizes the size of the ring fight. Now, fighters starting to land here at the start of round three. You've got on your unofficial card, Kevin, uh, Alicia Ashley with the first two rounds. Yes, I th she's boxing really be beautifully right now and utilizing her reach advantage. And uh, Elena Reed's trying to figure out how to get inside. And, and that's the problem. She's trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? She should have had that before she got here. You can't, it's very difficult to figure it out while you're there. Uh, because the more the rounds go on, the harder it's going to be for her. She's missing shots. She's looking awkward. She's looking off balance. 
And uh, she doesn't look good right now, um, fighting a girl like Ashley. Ashley looks very comfortable, relaxed, utilizing a jab. I mean, Mia, I mean, what do you see in this fight? Yeah, I see the same thing. Um, Alicia really using the ring, and she looks very slick. Um, I can see why Elena's having a lot of problems. But what I love about Elena is... <laughs> she's got those nice, strong legs. Elena Reed walking uh, into she one. Just, yeah, she just can't find her way in. And Ashley fighting her way out of the corner. Reed had her where she wanted, but couldn't land a blow. Well, I'll tell you one thing about... Uh, I think Reed got hurt with that last punch. She's going backwards. She's trying. She's got willpower to do something, but she doesn't have the know-how right now to do it. And I think that's the problem. She's trying to figure out how to get inside. And I think she's frustrated right now. This is round three of eight scheduled. For the main event tonight in the Bantamweight division. Baby Doll Reed and Slick Alicia Ashley. Oh, she buckled with that shot. And there's two body shots. I think Reed is uh, a little bit hurt here. Well, I don't know if Reed's been hit hard like that in quite a while. In fact, she hasn't lost a match. Well, the way this July looks, of 2000. Well, the way this looks right now, this could this could be uh, the winning streak at his end. It was Layla McCarter who beat her in July of 2000 in a bout in Las Vegas, her second professional fight. Elena Baby Doll Reed would lose. Ironically, it was the second professional fight. Alicia Ashley would also lose on the 20th of May to Doris Hack of their own is brought to you by thesweetscience.com. Real stories, real writers, boxing's premier online magazine. Along with the knockout, Mia St. John and the flushing flash, Kevin Kelly. I'm Tim Neverett, ringside in our main event, Elena Baby Doll Reed struggling after the first three rounds tonight. And Alicia Ashley has controlled the bout thus far. Round four. Baby Doll Reed getting in a couple of her own. Yeah, this girl Ashley is so relaxed. It's very hard to beat somebody as relaxed as Ashley is. She's boxing, I hate to say it, like a guy. I mean, she's got a hand down to her side, and, and uh, she's got a stiff jab, and she's got a good overhand left, which she's catching her with, we're catching Reed with. So um, she's boxing beautifully. She got Reed missing and reaching. She got Reed doing some things that I think Reed didn't think was going to happen tonight. Right, and she looks extremely confident tonight. Well, and Ashley's so trained in a gym you're familiar with, Kevin, in Brooklyn. Yes, uh, Gleason's, Gleason's gym. Uh, I trained there myself my early part of my career. The first, I can say, the three quarters of my career, I trained in Gleason's gym. Worked with Hector Roca. Um, he worked with Arturo Gotti. I sparred with Arturo, and he worked with uh, Virginia Torr, became field champion of the world. Uh, everybody. And he, you can see a lot of influence uh, Early Gotti here with her, you know, Gotti was moving. He beat Tracy Patterson on the first world title. Uh, so here tonight, I think uh, Hector Roca might have another credible champion. What do you think, Mia? Definitely. I'm really impressed with Alicia. And, you know, but I thought this would be a challenge for Elena because Alicia does usually fight at a heavier weight class. So I was really shocked that Elena took this fight. Their overhand left by Ashley. I think Elena's having a lot of problem with that reach advantage. It seems like she just can't get away from the punches. Every time Ashley throws a shot, she can land. There we go again. Every time she throws a punch, she can land. Keep an eye on the eyes, too, because they can tell a story, as you well know. One fighter with the confident glare and the other with the eyes wide open like saucers. With an alarm look, and Elena Baby Doll Reed has had the wide eyes and the confident eyes. Have belonged to that young woman, Alicia Ashley. Baby doll in trouble for the first time in quite a while in the ring. Let's take a look at some of the action from the last round. You can see just combination landing there with the left. That one might have stung Elena Baby Doll Reed. Well, we take a look at the punches. I mean, you know, Alicia is outside and she's utilizing that reach advantage. And Lena Reed is trying to figure out how to get on the inside. And uh, that reach advantage is tremendous that Alicia has. And uh, for a girl boxer, and being southpaw, that is very difficult to get past right there. I mean, I'm a southpaw myself, and I know that the advantage I have is tremendous. But, you know, I, I mean, hate southpaws. I know. A lot of people do. They feel like we should have been born. But, you know, so I are think. Are you saying you hate Kevin, too? I just true? hate fighting southpaws. Yeah, I, I believe a lot I of people I try to do. avoid it at all costs. 
Even my girl at box, Dawn Reynolds, she's a, a right-handed fighter, but she has a habit of wanting to box lefty, and I don't understand why, but let she's so her. So I do let her. And all her victories and all her fights have been at, at Southpaw. This is round five. And Alicia Ashley seems to be in front right now, at least on Kevin's unofficial card. She's just so relaxed, so comfortable. Uh, she doesn't punch his goal when she wants to. I mean, Larry just can't get the even hurt him. As well as touch him. Definite disadvantage in the reach department. I believe that makes a difference here. And also the fact that both of them are southpaws, there's no advantage. It's a tough one, right in the neck. Better than the jaw, I guess. Oh, definitely. I think anywhere you get hit in the upper torso, it, it can hurt you. Leonard Reed finally landed a, a nice overhand left, but it's only one. And she gets it back right there. Hey. So, you know, what happened with Leonard Reed is when she gets her moment, she steps away instead of stepping to her opponent. And if she lands a combination, like right there, she'll step to Ashley, cut the ring off. There she goes. She's chasing her again rather than cutting the ring off. Hey. And the way to beat a lefty, I have a trick. I'm going to know the fight on the air right now. <laughs> when a southpaw fights a southpaw, the way you beat them, if you watch Corey Spinks and Zab Judah, is straight left hand. And if Elena Reed throws a straight left hand rather than a jab, she'll probably oh, right. get to a point of destination. That's a trick that I utilize to beat knock out other featherweights that have been lefty like messed up. See, there was straight left hand. There it go right there. She landed it, but she didn't come back to the hook. Let's see if Elena Reed can figure that one out. Not the jab, the straight left hand. That's what she has to lead with. See, every time she leaves the jab, she will get countered. But if she leaves with left hand, she won't get countered. You don't get that right. counter okay, that way from saying. a right-handed fighter. Yeah, you have to convert your body, almost fight like a right-handed fighter when you're fighting a southpaw when you're lefty yourself. <laughs> Round five quickly. That is makes finished. sense. <laughs> I know the trick. I don't like to leave my antidotes on TV because you know, then God's going to utilize them against me to hit us. Exactly. So, you know, this, how, might hear this that. is how I beat Smoke Game, knocked out Smoke Game, and I fought the Prince, and I had him on the canvas a lot, is that I find if you convert your body around, you fight right-handed, with up, righty up top and lefty on the bottom, and leave with left hands. I told Zab Judah this when he fought Spinks. I said, don't throw jabs, throw right left, left hands. The first fight, he didn't listen. The second fight, he did, and he knocked out yeah. Spinks. That's where you beat a southpaw if you're southpaw. You make it a little flow What's Hector Rocca telling Alicia Ashley right now? Yeah. Pretty much just keep doing what she's doing. Don't let, don't let her build her confidence up, probably. Uh, and now he's telling her to go up the middle, I can see. Uh, of course, uh, Lena Reed is actually bending down a little bit, it looks like. And, uh, he's trying to just keep Alicia on focus. And you can see Alicia's confidence here. There you go, see Alicia moving. See, underneath, he's telling her right there. That's why he's telling her underneath the middle. When she, when, she, when Lena Reed goes down, he wants to come underneath, okay, and then over the top. Round six of eight. And it's been all Alicia Ashley so far. And she has Don't not right won hand. via a knockout yet. She's always won on the judge's decision. The ten victories have all been that way. Well, she's another one. I think, you know, she hits Elena Reed with a good left hand, and she don't take any chances, but she should finish up with the hook. She lands a good left hand, but she gets away from a, a, a position. And the rule is, once you land a good shot, you stay there in your spot and throw three more shots. Right. Instead, what Ashley's doing is she lands a good left hand, but she's stepping away, so she can't get a cleanup. That's why she probably has no knockouts. More than likely, I would say, that's how she has no knockouts. It's called the cleanup. You land a good shot, you buckle him, and then you got to stay right there and throw three more shots, you get your man out of there. Did you know that, Mia? I didn't know that, but that's good to know. <laughs> I'll give him Mia a bunch of information. Fight, right? right? <laughs> I use that in my next one. Yeah, you creep a little bit slow. What happens is you land a good shot, you hurt him, buckle him, and you come back to the hook immediately, right away, and then right. big left hand again. But you know, I know it's hard to do that. It's really hard to throw. I'll end up throwing a jab right, and, and I have a hard time following up with the hook. No, you know why? Because you got to do repetition in the gym. Do it in the gym consistently. Well, I can over do it in the gym. And over and over. <laughs> That's when I get in a real fight. You gotta relax. You gotta relax. You gotta have faith and believe. Oh, uh, baby doll Reed trying to get back into this one. Yeah, well, she'll get in as much as Ashley allows her to get in, you know? Um, Ashley right now is boxing great. She's staying relaxed. Uh, she has no worries on her head right now. And she's going downstairs to the body, which is something new that she's doing. Reed is missing. Reed is cut, too. A big old cut on the right side of her face. And, uh, that changes dynamics right here again. Well, baby doll Reed 
bloodied up. Yeah, now it really, really getting exciting. And uh, maybe don't really look like she's getting broke down right now, to tell you the truth. I think when a fighter gets cut, even if it's not a bad cut, I think it just destroys your confidence. It depends on who the fighter is. <laughs> I think it depends. That's true. That's true. I think you, I've never been cut knock on wood, thank God, and had a little time Nick, but any swelling I received, you see me, I think, heat things up and knock guys out. This cut. Uh, this cut. Gotti. Look at Gotti. Right. Yeah. Let's see if well, we can catch there. the punch that caused this one. I think they're trying. Right there. Well, right there. That looks like right there. That might, oh, oh that, maybe that one. No, that was after the cut was already. She already received the cut. So we got to see where exactly um, when this cut happened. Was it a headbutt? Maybe you know, they were inside once in a while, but I don't think it was like. Well, you were informed by the commission. It was a punch. It was a punch. Oh, so if it goes to the scorecards uh, and they stop the fight, that uh, that's a scary thing. Do you feel that a cut me a? Uh, Changes the dynamics of the fight, huh? It really does. I mean, I was cutting my last fight, 27 stitches, so. <laughs> oh, that, was, that wasn't a cut. That the was... problem is I didn't feel anything. <laughs> yeah. I feel that sometimes. I was ready to keep going. <laughs> a girl fight, maybe that changed. I think a guy's fighting, is, it's a mucho macho thing. Some guys uh, fall victim to blood, as we say, Tim. And uh, some guys, it, it's just the fight just started. Right. With me, <laughs> I, I can think, see that. Yeah, with me, the fight just started. Thank God, <laughs> knock on wood, God doesn't allow me to bleed. Lives me to swell, but not bleed. But uh, thank God. But um, I feel differently. I feel that when I see some blood, especially my own, you're in trouble. Yeah. Ashley trying to work the right side of the face of well, Elena Baby Doll Reed. Oh, that cut is yeah, severe she's right now. Taking advantage of that cut. Oh, that's just smart. That cut is severe. She's taking advantage of opportunity. Mia, what would you do? In this? I mean, you had to cut 27 stitches. What would you do right now if that was you in the ring, Elena Reed, with a 27 stitch cut? What would happen? You know, I can't lie. I'd say. I I would be, I would be boxing more and trying to to keep my distance. By a woman has. 15, 16 professional fights and her first knockout of Elena Reed. I mean, this sent Ashley into the perils of uh, greatness now. I mean, what you, what you think about this one? I mean, well, yeah, you know, like I said, I'm really surprised that Elena even took this fight. I mean, it, it was a tough fight, and but you know, she knew that, and she's a very courageous fighter. She loves to fight and she loves a challenge. Do you oh. think that there'll be a rematch? I think they'll definitely rematch. Or how will Reed come back from this? I mean, she looks devastated from this loss. Um, she's cut, she's crying in the ring. I mean, here, could this have shattered her confidence? No, I think I, I think for now, uh, Elena's gonna be upset, like every fighter would be, but I think she's gonna bounce right back. She's, you know, she's a tough girl. She's got a lot of experience. She's got a lot going for her. Um, I don't think this is gonna slow her down. But Mia, she took some beat. I mean, from I didn't give her one round. From round one to, to the round, <laughs> they stopped it. I mean, she was outboxed, outclassed, out hustled, out punched, um, everything. Well, Alicia Ashley, her first career knockout, her 11th win. And Mark Biro, our ring announcer, has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the time. One minute, four seconds of the seventh round. The referee stops the contest due to a cut over the right eye of the red corner. The winner by technical knockout, Slick Alicia Ashley. Ashley. There Ashley go with her victory. Uh, uh, first knockout, career knockout, and, and not a bad person to stop in her first knockout, Lena Reed, who had 20 straight wins. Right. There's no shame in losing to Alicia Ashley. And like I said, she was, you know, she's norm she normally fights in a heavier weight category. So uh, it was a big step up, and um, she did her best, you know. Why do you no think Lena Reed uh, took this, this bout? Um, we have such a, a great fight here. I mean, uh, we, uh, just with that final thought. Well, I think that she... She stepped up, she was very courageous, and, and she wanted to stay busy. I just, I think I would have picked a different opponent to stay busy. She's, Alicia Ashley is not a stay busy 
kind of fighter. <laughs> there you got it from Mia St. John. Let's go up to Tim. He's in the ring with Alicia. All right, Kevin, thank you very Ashley. much for with tonight's winner of the main event, Alicia Ashley, your first career knockout. You've won on points all the time. How's it feel to get a TKO? Um, feels good. <laughs> you look very confident there. And again, was it difficult to fight another southpaw? No, I really didn't notice. It's like two orthodox fighting. How about your trainer, Hector Roca? You got you ready for this. He's always been in my corner. He's been the very best trainer. I mean, right now, because of Million Dollar Baby, he's getting more recognition, but he's always been a great trainer. And who's a better fighter, Hector? Hillary Swank, the Academy Award winner who you trained, or Alicia Ashley? Well, right now, Hillary Swank, but we're going to get it. We're going too hard. <laughs> Congratulations on this win. Okay, thank you. thank you. Alicia Ashley, the winner tonight of our main event. Well, let's go up to Tim. He's in the ring with Baby Doll Reed. Right, with Elena Baby Doll Reed, obviously an emotional moment, uh, unbeaten in your last 20 fights. So uh, tell us what was going through your mind out there. Um, she's a good fighter. I'm sad that it was stopped because of something like a cut. But uh, like I always say, that's boxing. And just have to get back in the gym and try even harder, work even harder. I'm still young, so we still have time. And all these fans, how could I stop? <laughs> Talk about the cut. The cut, obviously, a big factor in the stoppage in the fight. Uh, tell us when that occurred. I'm sure uh, everyone will see it on tape. I'm not even sure. I was just thinking about fighting and going. I have no idea. Would you like to fight her again if she'll give you a rematch? Of course. Of course I'd love to fight at my national rate of 112, but we'll fight whoever, whenever we can. All right, Elena. I know you're going to bounce back. Thanks. Thanks. It's Elena Baby Doll Reed. How you doing, fight fans? Welcome to uh, Baja, um, Baja California, T1 Tijuana, Baja, California. Want to watch the WBC Super um, Bantamweight Champion, Slick Alita Ashley from Jamaica. Um, stands at uh, five foot four and a half. Slick Southpaw. Um, this is the, um, the fourth defense of her title. Um, which she won in America. Um, yeah, man. So this should be a good fight against um, Zena uh, Sodomite Stozomaya and Zena Somas from Mexico. As you can see, the champions in the ring right now. Comes in with Bob Marley singing. There's the challenger. She looks game. Zena has um, lost a few fights, but she's got a, she's got a terrible, uh, a great knockout percentage. Um, She's 110 and she's got like eight knockouts in her fight, but she's lo awful lost a lot as well. And um, coming into this fight, she's um, she's uh, coming into this fight, she's um, I think she's only lost one fight by knockout, but she's got like five losses on her record. Well, we're gonna see. All right, so let's see how this fight's gonna fight's gonna go up. I'll leave you to, uh, to the MC. Uh, she's going to introduce um, some of the current female champion, active female champions. Alicia West. Oh, she's Alicia West is a decent champion. These are all the champions. Yeah. Reina Jackie, I think her name is. Alicia West is coming in. I oh, know about her. She's a, she can fight that one there. There she is, Alicia West. Oh, Jackie Nova. That's good. That she might be a future opponent for Alicia. These are all the super bantamweights. Yeah, these are the I think these are the other champions in the division. Yeah, so I think she's him. Yeah, these are all the other um, female bantamweight champions in the division. Alicia's got Alicia's got her work cut out for her. It's not going to be easy. Zena Stonemaier, a hometown of Whitehead, obviously in Mexico. Um, Baja, California, Tijuana. She's got the home court advantage. Alicia, Jamaican slick southpaw, likes to use her foot speed, and uh, and uh, she's got great uh, hand speed as well. Promociones Mayen, Sanfe, Centro de Esperanza.
espectáculos Las Pulgas, Pandora y Azteca América presentan desde Tijuana, Baja California, México. Sí. La pelea estelar de la noche pactada a 10 rounds por el título mundial femenil de la división Super Gallo avalado por el Consejo Mundial de Boxeo. En la esquina roja, la retadora de los Mochis Sinaloa. Sí, es Zeni, Zeni, solo son nuevos, ¿sí? Como los mochis en México. En la esquina azul. The champion. De Jamaica. Campeón. Campeona. Yeah, campeona. Alicia Ashley. Slick. Alicia Ashley. From Jamaica, fighting out of Brooklyn, New York. Los jueces para esta um, She was in Brooklyn, New York when she was younger. And she hasn't got many, she hasn't got knockout, many knockouts. At, at this point, she only got one. One knockout on her record coming into this fight. She started fighting quite late as well. In um, 99. In, um, yeah, in 99, she started fighting. As a referee, there's the third man in the ring right there. Bring them together. The WBC, so this is for the double super double super bantamweight, uh, double WBC super bantamweight championship, women's championship, women's ra women's rounds. Uh, you gotta know um, they use two minute rounds, and um, the the maximum limit is ten is ten rounds. So that, that's that's the that's the limit for the for the female for the female fighting. All right. The people are ready. The crowds are ready. I'm ready. So, without further ado, let's get it on, man. For the WBC uh, Super Bantamweight Women's Super Bantamweight Championship in um, T1 of Baja California, round one. So, as you can see, the Southpaw Jamaican uh, Slick Ashley, um, Sick Alicia, La uh, Sick Alicia Ashley. She likes to use her foot, but you can see as anyone trying to come into her, she, she, she knows how to use the ring. She's very experienced. She's been all around the world. Been to... Um, been Germany. Like I said, been Mexico, Argentina. She's been all over the world. Like New York, obviously, she's based in America. Um, she's been all over the world. She's very experienced. And now she's got, she's got a championship. She don't want to... She doesn't want to give it up. And trust me, she it don't look like she's got no ambitions too. But Zena Sonomai Sonomai might have other ideas. The rounds will go quite pretty quick, quick in this round. Let's see, you, see you, who uh, dictates the pace. See if the champion gets anything in right here. Jamaican color trunks. The only Jamaican female champion ever. Like there's never been no other female Jamaican uh, boxing woman champion. Well, so she's a, she's a rarity. But the first will probably gonna be more more coming, maybe. As you see, um, Ashley, slick Ashley, pumping up the uh, her southpaw jam, so she pumping up the right hand to set up with her left. Usually, there's a much movement. The both of them are starting off pretty slow. Not really punches in. I don't know who really really taking this round right there. Sonomar, um is not really doing anything. Ashley's not really landing anything either. Ashley's trying to land that big left. She goes to the body right there. Sonoma's got a Sonoma's um, experience in that. She's like I said, she can bang, but uh, boy, but does you, you you can't hit. We I can't see like Muhammad Ali said, man. And actually, she exhibits the same kind of style that Ali's technique hit and not be hit, man. Use the fit speed, as you can see. She's she's usually taller than the opponent, so that's round one. Who'd you give that round to? There wasn't much activity in that round. I'd give it a 10 10. I mean, you're usually supposed to pick uh, round by round, but I, like, I, I don't see anything in that round right there. I don't know what you guys would take that round as, but like, so I'll give it a 10 10 round. So nine nine left on the block. Zena Stoudemire. So for Los Los Mushis Mexico. And this is Aztec boxing. She's um, it's obviously the home type fight. I think she's in the slow mo right here. See that punch right there with well, it's, it's a grazing punch right off the gloves. Z so there were some punches landing, but not nothing notable in this round. Ooh, look at that. There you go. That's the body shot. You might as well. Okay, Ashley did land that body shot. 
Um, did she give that Ashley? Alicia did actually did let Slick Ashley. She didn't land that body shot, so you might just give her that round just for landing that one punch. So I guess what um, Slick Ashley got that wrong, but she landed the punch, and obviously um, Sodoma didn't land it. So Slick Ashley, I got a one round up. Then. The Southpaw Jamaican uses her foot speed and hand speed. She usually got advantage over most of the girls in the division as well. She uses it pretty well. But right, she's not moving around. Looks like she's, she's standing on ground here. She's listening to make a statement. She's pumping out the, the right hand. Look at the right hand. Look at the movement, man. Woohoo! Using all her ring experience, so she's 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 uh she's uh learned over the years. She's a natural as well. The only thing is, you'd like her to, you know, and this would be a bit more active. But like, like I said, is it, it, actually, it's always hit and not be hit. Look at she goes to the body again and lands again. Oh, she lands a left. She lands a big left right there. Look, see her moving out of range as well. Referees don't have to do too much in this fight, yeah, the two combatants right there. See Sodoma is still trying to find her range, but she can't hit the moving target. Look at that. With all that foot, that foot speed, with all the foot speed of Ashley, there's nothing there to be hit. And you can see like, the difficulty, the hand speed, the foot speed <laughs> of Slick Ashley. Yeah, and you can see why she, they call her Slick Ashley, man. Very, very elusive. And again, she lands a left hand, doubles it up. The, both of them hit the target. And so on, I like it in the women's game, man. They, they, the women's game, the rounds go quick and that. But boy, this, that's the disheartening for the challenger. The champions dictating the pace. And then again, quick hands, but actually, he's landed, definitely landing more punch in this round. So I'll definitely give this round to Ashley. Under 10 seconds now. Ashley doubles up the left hand again. She's pumping out she's output. She's doubled up the output. And definitely, that's a definitely big round for the champion right there. Let me see. Yeah. Playing some Bob Marley in the background. See what the champion See the corner, the cornerman of Slick Ashley. He actually um, trained um, Hillary Shrank for the Million Dollar Baby, and um, he's, he's very famous. Everyone knows about that in the film. Right? She she trained Ashley using telling, teaching Ashley the same kind of style. You can see look in the replay right here. Ashley definitely won this round. Look at that! All the highlights going to Ashley. All the all the all the, champ, all the all the highlights going for the champion. Round three of, for this WBC uh, Super Bantamweight Women's Championship in a uh, T1 of Baja California. As you can see there, like the, 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 uh, the, they've scored it the same as that's how I've scored it. For the champion, look at the movement. Man. Beautiful boxing skills here. Look at it. You got look, most boxers they use. They don't usually they they sacrifice their assets, but not. Look at the southpaw, and it's hard enough she's a southpaw, and then she can move as well. The, the way she can move as well. The way she can move so good as well. The movement is but is is look at that. Look how she moved that range and she just threw the combinations in. Beautiful, beautiful boxing technique. She should be learned school very well in the art of hit and not be hit. Oh, what happened there? Is that clash of heads right there? Ooh, what happened there? Oh, she's gone down on her knees while she looks like she's hurt. The referee's asking her what's going on. There's a clash of heads right there. See if she can continue. She looks upset. She looks. Ooh. She looks. Just, let me see this little one. I don't know what happened right there. Well, she looks disturbed, man. And Sodomar looks disturbed, right after the box. Well, see, I wonder if the champion's going to take advantage of this, of this circum the circumstances by um, Sodomar. Don't know what happened right there. I think it may be a clash of heads right there. But she seems like she's okay. Oh, they're, uh, they're actually still dubbing up the output. As again, like I said, again, <laughs> boy, like uh, Sodomar, like, she's going to have to try and find something because she looks, she's hitting thin air. And, so, and there you go, and so you can see, look, the Southpaw, J the Jamaican Southpaw, Slick Ashley, is still, he's still working over with the jabs and the straights and using her foot speed. I mean, it's hard enough, she's, she's got the reach advantage, but then she's got the foot speed, and she's got foot speed as well to be out. Look at that body shot, she's getting beautifully right there. 
Look at that, and then the left hand sticking her, sticking her. Sonomai like, Son looks disturbed. Oh, she's eating a big left hand there. It looked like her gum shield has popped out just there. And so, uh, <laughs> and see, Slick Ashley, you can sense something here. She's moving in for the kill. She's doubling the output. Oh, look at that. She's just doubling. She's moving in, and that's the end of round three. Oh, and then, and, and this, oh, hey, Sonomai's got a whole world of trouble. Head clash. She got out punched. Oh, migraine. Oh, there. It's a torrent round for the, for the for the challenger. Look at this. Let me see if they can get the slow mo of what happened if the head clashes. Maybe. Well, maybe it was a punch. Oh, look at the uppercut. Look at that. Look at that. Look at she moved it the way and she just done the uppercut in the direct. Look at that. She's no way to be seen. Beautiful boxing. Look at that. What was that head? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! Look at that funny shot! And Slick Ashley's going to work here, boy. And Stoudemire, Stoudemire looks in a whole world of trouble here. Round four for the Super Bantamweight um, WBC Championship. Uh, Jamaica in the Jamaican trunks, Slick Ashley in the black and uh, silver trunks. Um, Zena uh, Stoudemire. There's some sponsors here for this event in uh, Baja Tijuana, California. Miller Light. Um, boy, but Slick Ashley, boy, she doesn't want to. She looks like she's looking giving her a title tonight, and she's she's putting a title on the on the challenger, and the challenger needs to come up with something right now because right now she's she's taking a lot of punches here, and then the women's part in the women's game necessarily they take too much. Oh look at that! That's it. Woohoo! She's down. She hit a headshot, body shot, and then it's the Stonomai is down. Ref will count with him. She gets up. Oh, she's game. She's game. I'll give her she's game, boy. She's still really still recovering from that head. I think it's the head clash, whatever. But she went down hard. And Slick Ashley's moving in the six. Slick Southport Jamaicans moving in, flicking the jab, popping it out. And she goes to the body again and goes to the right. And she looks like she's looking to stop referee sending to keep the punches up here. And she's, oh, she goes to the body beautifully. Oh, Slick Ashley can sense her. She might have a knockout right here. Oh! And Zena and Stonemaya comes back. What happened there? That is like a push. Oh, Stonemaya is coming back though. She started, they started to exchange there in the pocket. Keeps pumping the jab up. Zay, hey, hey, listen, mate. You get me, Zayna. <laughs> Stonemaya, if you get close, yeah, like I said, she has a big knockout percentage if she can get close to you. But look, oh, look at the body shots by her. By Slick Ashley. Oh, Alicia keeps Alicia keeps popping them out. Uh, ten second, that under ten second of the round, and we've got a knockdown in the round. So already that like, Zena is, is is down on the cards. Stonemaier is down on the cards, big. Oh, Alicia keeps doubling them in. Oh, she's just what happened now? She's getting she's just getting out schooled. Like she's gone down on the knee. What's happening here? Oh. I don't think she wants no more, man. I don't think she wants no more. I think her, 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 her world title her ambitions have, have ended right here. She just crumbling down to the floor. And Slick Ashley, look at this. Look at that. There's nothing there. Look at that body shot. Digs it in. Left hand to the body. Digs again. Right hand to the body again. Oh, she's just. This is torrid. <laughs> There's too much. Look at that. Big left hand. Is she coming out? Oh, she's brave. She's coming out for round five. I give her more. Listen, they touch gloves. But boy, like in it. A slick actually. She's already got her down in round four. 10 8, round four. And she's going around to the champions in cruise control right now. Usually, the champion. Slick Ashley, she just usually she just outboxes you like but right now look at that she's big on the scorecards right now as you can see uh Stonemar 35 Ashley 40 and she's moving in and Slick Ashley look like she senses off her hands are down and she's she's sticking her feet into the canvas now so she's looking to bang shots in and now they're into a slugfest the two of them oh and you can see look Stonemar is trying to throw a big punch and she actually weren't there the six out of four is, is abandoning the slick style and she's turned into a banger and she's coming in looks like she's hunting hunting down Stoudemire oh she's she switching starts a bit oh look at that body them beautiful body shots as look at it look at the book look at the defense look at the beautiful def defense work by uh by slick ashley beautiful look at that she's landing look there's nothing look she's just you can see Stoudemire's just taking it Look at that body shot and the left hand right there to the jaw. 
of uh, Stone and Meyer. And again, another one. She eats another one to the jaw on the body shot. Look at that. And she's third there definitely in the pocket now. Now, Slick Ashley's turning to double it up. Oh! Again, double up with the left. And she goes to the body. All right. Uh, Stone and Meyer covers up. She digs into the body. And she's taking some shots here. Too many shots here right now. Slick Ashley's just wearing on top. She's looking at that dig to the right. Oh, look, uppercut, right hand. Was the referee's looking close and the referee's waved off. And the referee shows the referee should. Is she protesting? Yeah, she's protesting, but nah, the referee, the referee done the right thing, mate. She was eating too many shots and the champion, Slick Ashley, looks on. In the women's game, there's no need to take unnecessary punishment. She, she was just eating punches. She's complaining. She's upset in that, but the referee, look. That's it. The champion's looking on. She's probably thinking, what's going on there? But nah, definitely. Nah, definitely, definitely, definitely. No, 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 no. No mans. She's upset with herself, man, to be stopped in her home. Remember, this is this is a home country in, uh, in Mexico. Um, but it, it, that's... It's, it's, not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, in my opinion. There's no need. As you can see, look at the slow-mo. It's all Slick Ashley. Alicia Slick Ashley. Look at this. Oh, look at that. The south four. The left, big left. Digging him in. Defense. Look at that. Body shots, head shots. She's laying him in and she could sense the girl was ready to put a pick in. Oh, look at the left. And another one. She dubs it in. And there you go. The champion retains her super bantamweight. Double BC super bantamweight championship. And she moves on. Alright, this is the champion retains their belt. And she's still the Super Bantamweight Championship. And so that's her fifth defense of the championship. So, Slick Ashley retains her belt. And we move on. There's more of a test to come on. So, um, we'll see where she's going to go with her career from now. Yeah, it was a great fight. That was an interesting fight for the champion. A great defense for her friend. She's proud and another payday. She moves on, cements her legacy. And she defended the belt and proud, a proud champion she is. Okay, fight fans. I'll catch you up on the next one. Oh, so we've got uh, Alicia Ashley. Um, she's just a unification bout against Jackie Navarre and... Um, so this is a unification for Alicia Navarre's uh, WBA uh, Super Bantamweight Championship and uh, obviously Alicia Ashley's WBC Championship. They've just made weight. Now it's standing back to back. As you can see right now, yeah, this is a big fight. A uh, big fight right now. They're fighting in, um, in Mexico, uh, Mexico City. Uh, obviously the home of Navarre. She's from Mexico. And um, yeah. They're both wait, wait. So I'm looking forward for a great, a, a great bout right now. You can see, obviously, you can see the 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 the, um, the height, the, the the difference right now. So this is a unification bout for for the WBC, WBA uh, Super Bantamweight Championships. So without further ado, let's go to uh, the fight and let's get it on. So these girls, man, these girls, they're ready to rumble like I am. Great, let's go. Let's get it on, man. Queremos presentar en esta noche que nos engalanan grandes campeones del mundo. Tenemos al ex campeón mundial Antonio Tony Margarito. Oh, Antonio Barrigo, who's that? The Bay Face Assassins there. Campeón mundial desde Monterrey, Nuevo León. Francisco oh, there's Marquez. El Chihuas Rodríguez. I oh, definitely naming all the other champions in the y ring. Multicampeón mundial orgullo de it? México Distrito Federal. Juan Manuel Dinamita Marquez. Whoa, and you got Margarito in there as well. Margarito's in there as well. I think um, she's managed by Marco Antonio Pereira. Yep. For the WBA and WBC flyweight championship of the world. This should be good, man. Sanctioned by the WBC and WBA. 
Supervisores, Supervisors, Jill Diamond y Carlos Chávez. Los tres jueces son, the three judges are, de Albuquerque, Nuevo México, from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Chris Telles, de Maracay, Venezuela, Rafael Carabaño, and from LA, Cali, de Los Ángeles, California, Raúl Kais Jr. Mm -hmm. Y el tercero en la superficie, your third man inside the ring, from Panama City, de Ciudad del Panamá, Héctor Apu. Y ahora presentando a ustedes, peleando de la esquina azul. This is not going to be a hard test for the champion. Corner, vistiendo calzoncillo con colores de la bandera jamaiquina, verde, negro y dorado. Wearing the Jamaican flag colors yep. of green, gold and black. Con un peso oficial de 121 y medio libras, 121 and a half pounds. Su récord profesional. 21 victorias, 9 derrotas, un empate y 3 victorias por la vía del knockout. Her professional record stands at 21 victories, 9 losses, 1 draw, and 3 of those victories coming by the way of knockout. Ella es la campeona de peso super gallo del CMB de WBC Super Bantamweight World Champion. Yeah. Alicia. Bro, bro, bro. Ashley. Whoa. Yeah. From JA. He's the other champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Entra al ring vistiendo calzoncillo blanco con vivos en negro. Wearing white trunks, trim and black. Con un peso idéntico de 121 y media libras. Identical weight. 121 and a half pounds. Su récord profesional. 29 victorias, 4 derrotas, 3 empates y 13 victorias por la vía del knockout. He holds a professional record consisting of 29 Whoa. victories, including 4 losses, 3 draws, and 13 wins coming by the way of She got a good knockout percentage. She is the super bantamweight world champion by the WBA. La campeona de peso super gallo de la AMB. Y orgullo de Tijuana, Baja California, México. La princesa Azteca, Shaki. Jackie Nava, hey, the Aztec princess Jackie Nava versus Slick Ash Alicia Ashley. This is a unification bout for the Super WBC uh, and WBA Super Bantamweight Championship. This is a big match. This is a big fight, man. Mexico City, Aztec princess, the slick. Jamaican, Southpaw. This is a instruction the dressing room, okay? I want to kill fight everything. Okay, yo te di las instrucciones del camerino, una pelea limpia. Token guantes, vamos, te gana la moto. Muy bien. Yep. And we're ready to go. Alrighty, man. So, looking forward to this bout for this unification. The Aztec Princess, Jackie Nova versus uh, Slick Ashley, Slick Alicia Ashley in Mexico City. See how this fight's gonna go, man. Obviously, you can see Jackie's got obviously people. Uh, Jackie's got obviously uh, all the home crowd support. Round one, here we go. And you see the Southpaw, Slicks are actually Southpaw. You can see she's got the height advantage, speed, use her height and speed. And you can see from the last fight, she, she, she just uses her range at least, just use flitters it in. See how Jackie Nava is going to do. So you put Alicia, uh, Slick Alashi, she's popping in, she's working more usually, she's, she's moving more than before, moving around. She's popping the jab, any notable punches right now, not really no. And she's moving around, and you can see uh, Navada uh, going to the body. Oh, they're beautiful punches by Alicia. 
Slick Ashley. Tiene que subir también un poquito la cara, ¿no? Whoa! Whoa! A lot of big right, right there. Uh, Navarro, she fights normally conventional style. You can see she's trying to count Ashley as Ashley throws punches, and you can see she's got she's got a notable reach of reach herself. This is ten rounds um, in Mexico City for WBA and the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship. The champion, um, both champions, Jamaican champion, um, WBC champion. Ashley, um, Nevada, WBA, champion. Well, both of them matching though. They're matching punch for punch though, right on the output. Because you can see right now, look, um, Nevada, she, she's landing punches still. Ashley, slick Ashley on the move. Oh, a left hook by, left hook by Nevada. The Aztec Princess landing left hook right there on Ashley. Everything's gonna work. Everything's gonna actually, I think Slay Ashley's gonna have to do a bit more than this. There's good as it is. Dead big southpaw. Well, you know what? They, they, you can, uh, you, you know, the most of more punches landed, I think, by the Slick Ashley. I think the harder punches are landed by Nevada. That's the princess. So, who do you want to score? Like, um, I, I'll go with the person who landed the most punches right now. She landed the more, more punches, so I'll go with Slick Ashley. So, that's 10 9, Slick Ashley. Yeah, man, this is a big promotional uh, thing. Aztec boxing promoting it. As you can see, look here. See the counter right there. You can see that the, there you can. Southport. See these notable punches, obviously. Uh, Jackie Nava landing up punches they've got on the replay. But for me, uh, Slick Ashley landed more punches. Just they're the only two punches, notable punches thing. But other than that, um, Jackie Nava never uh, landed that many punches, so that's that's for me. But you could score it the other way. 10 9 for uh, Aztec Princess. I got it for uh, Slick Ashley on that one. All right, round two for the dog for this champion for the the WBC and uh, the I um WBA uh super super bantamweight championship women's championship Navarro versus Ashley in Mexico City. Whoa, Navarro landed Navarro landed a nice right hand there on on, <laughs> on Slick Ashley. Slick Ashley answers back though. She answers back. She's not gonna be not gonna be easy easy to be to be pushed over, man. And she's on the move right now, using that losing her slick, pumping her right with a southpaw. Slick southpaw pumping her right hand up. As you can see, Navar she's got a, she hits more harder by a knockout percentage. Oh, there you go, like there you go, a big sir left by a um, slick Ashley right there, and that landed well. And then now they go in the pocket. Oh, the violent arts is back now. I think some of these punches here, yeah, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to see who you're gonna, who you're gonna go for, because the the, fight, the rounds are pretty tight. Slick Ashley lands a beautiful combination right there, a body, and it goes to the head. And then Slick Ashley made a miss right there, clash of heads, the referee's warning. The Southport Slick Jamaican Southport still pump, pumping the jab out, that right hand out, very handily. And she's on the move. Oh, made a miss, made a pay right there. Beautiful boxing by Slick Ashley. Beautiful. Nevada's gonna need to see what Nevada does. Ask to answer back. Look at that beautiful boxing. She ties her up. Oh, she ties her up. Win the referee. All right, she ties up Nevada. Yeah, on the move right now. He's pumping the right hand out. Nevada's trying to counter her, but Slick Ashley still. She's landing more punches this round, and she made a miss and made her pay. And that's why they call her Slick Ashley. Look at that. She landed, made a miss, made her pay. Right there, that's in the books right there. Slick Ashley right there. Round one. Um, that's it. I got it two rounds up. But you, you know, you couldn't argue, I've, I've argued, but I've definitely got Slick Ashley on that round. On round two. On the scorecards. I'm gonna have to write this down though, because when it comes to the scorecards, yeah, I'm not the best. So, as I saw it, I got Ashley up two rounds. So, two rounds. Whoa. Oh. 
la lucha cuerpo a cuerpo. Creo que se le está haciendo incómodo. Round three. A Jackie, por eso And again. Se le está haciendo Whoa! Slick actually again landing her combinations and she ties her up. What's the referee's warning? Time out, referee calls. Bring them together and he's warning Slick Ashley about the head clashes. Head clash. Nevada, she looks alright. They touch gloves and we go resume the action. She actually on the move. This is 10 rounds. Um, when, when it comes to women fighting, um, it's two minute rounds. Um, 10 rounds. The maximum for women, any women's bout in the world is 10 rounds. They don't do any of that. And obviously, two minute rounds. So the, the fight will be going pretty quick. Uh, at a quick pace. Whoa. Beautiful combinations by Slick Ashley. Beautiful. Using a referee one about the hectare. I didn't see no head in there, but a referee's just trying his job. Look at that. And then again, she uh, answered again. And she made a miss. And she ties her up and she catches her again with her right hand. And it's on the clinches. Beautiful boxing by Slick Ashley right there. She's moving around and she's trying to. Uh, and Slick, um, as you can see, Navarre is trying to load up on her punches. But as you can see, Slick Ashley, the hand speed is befuddling. And look at that. She's in, she hits and she's out. Use her hand speed. Look at that. Look at that. And this is what Navarre wants. Oh, they were going, <laughs> they're going blow for blow. But I'll give that round uh, Slick Ashley. Round three, man. But you know the our people, yeah, they could be scoring. I don't know how they're scoring it in the school cup, but I definitely got them um, slick Ashley. I got a three rounds up. Look at this. This slow mo. Look at this. Landing, look, she's landing here, and she's out. Definitely great round. Look at this. Landing, she ties her up. And this is one about the head clash right there. But look, she's landing, right hand up, and she moves up, and then she's out. You see in the road, look at this. Look at that beautiful left hand again. Oh, some beautiful music they're playing there. See, she's like Ashley again, see? The only thing is, if she had more power, she'd be able to turn her hand on that part to get more power. Nevada's down on the score because she's going to have to do something about this. So live in, um, we're live in Mexico City uh, for the WBC and WBA Super Bantamweight Championship. It's Ashley, uh, Slip, uh, Alicia, Ashley in the Jamaican trunks and in the Mexican, uh, Az the Aztec Princess, um, Jackie uh, Navarre. Fighting out of her home city in Mexico. Whoa! Beautiful movement by Slick Ashley. You can see that she did. She's on the move right now, using the speed, flashing the speed right now, and landing the combinations. You can see why she's been a champion for a while. Be honest with you. Look at this beautiful boxing, beautiful boxing technique. Oh, beautiful technique! But it's Nevada lands in, and now they're going to toe to toe. What a beautiful exchange this there. But I can see Slick Ashley that she got the different. Look at that body shot. Oh, Nevada, beautiful boxing by the two of them. The style is blame well. You got the bull and the matador. The bull is Nevada, and the matador is Slick Ashley. But every time Slick Ashley gets close, man, Nevada looks like she's she packed some wallop in her punches, man. She's got a bit of a dig, and she knows how to use it. Oh, the head clash right there. Referee warns again about head clashes. There was nothing wrong with that. They looked like they was just this. Look, ah, referee. Ah. Referee's getting a bit interfering right there. Look, just both of them was just throwing punches. Fine. Slick South on the move right now. Still popping out the right hand. The left hand to the body. As soon as she leans in, I think the referee trying to warn her when she leans in with the uppercuts. Going to the body. A beautiful combination. Look at that. She's worked off the body. And she's definitely taking this round so far. And she's on the move. Look at that. The Royal Land is that one punch there, but other than that, there's nothing else going on. I can't see anything. Well, beautiful movement again. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful movement by Slick Ashley. Whoa! -ho. And definitely taking this round four in my school cards. And then moving in. They're going to go into war. But they grab it. Referee trap break, bring them together. And that's it in the books, man. I've got Slick Ashley winning that round. Man, look. In the day, school cards are, are subjective. Um, I don't want to come across like I'm biased. Um, but this is the way I'm seeing it. I mean, you may be seeing a completely different fight, and that's understandable. But um, this is what I'm saying. Round five, win. So Slick Ashley in the Jamaican color trunks. Um, Rep is fighting out of Brooklyn, New York. And uh, 
Jackie Navarre um, in the Mexican well Aztec color shorts black and white uh, the prin uh, princess uh, Aztec princess fights out a normal star she's, she's trying to move in for the kill and Slick Ashley's still on the move as we see round five so we're already on the halfway point right now of this championship bout the unification bout but I've got Slick Ashley just doing her thing doing her thing is just keep pumping that jab up beautiful boxing by Slick Ashley just keep popping them out Look at this, going to the body, oh beautiful, whoa! Slikashi answers her back, but Nevada's getting in some punches here though. She's definitely landing a bit more punches here. Slikashi, she, she stands a bit more flat, so it gives Nevada a chance to, to land more punches. By the referee, go. Beautiful boxing, the bull in the matter, but the, 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 the fight's changed slightly. Nevada's still trying to get in. Slikash, she's still on the move. Still popping up punches. Look at that. Still on the move right now. Beautiful boxing. Look at that. It's very. Look, this is the thing about Slikashly, man. Very hard. Like her name, that, that the noble name is why she they call her Slick. Look, look at that. Beautiful punches right now. Under 20 seconds of the round in round five, and now they're going to war. Beautiful, beautiful back and forth right there. Mix, they're mixing it up. But it's giving Nevada, giving Nevada uh, more, more into the fight right there, as you can see right now. Whoa! Ho, ho. And Slick Ashley, you punch, and, 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 and Thingy gives ground with some of them punches right there. And definitely, I'll give that round to Slick Ashley. Nevada's down on the scorecards, big. And this is the main event on the card: um, Juan Estrada versus uh, Segura Secure in the main event. Giovanna Segura, the main event for um, the unification belt. He's got most of the belts. I look at the replay right here. Let's see in the replay. Look at this. That's when they were both Nevada's catching her there. But look at Ashley Gashi Arts's back and she made a miss. Definitely more, more successful in in that round. But for me, look at this. For me, definitely. Slick Ashley, definitely. Look at this. Look at the defensive work as well. That's what the referee's warning about. It's the hair. Is the way as um, Slick Ashley bears down. It's the hair, isn't it? Round six coming up. It's unification bout. Yep. We're live in Mexico City for this unification bout. WBC. WBA uh, Super Bantamweight Championship with Navarre and, and, and Ashley. Whoa! Navarre caught with a beautiful left hand and a right hand right there. That's the thing. If the, uh, When Ashley stands flat for it, it gives Nevada a chance to come back. Oh, that's you go slick. Beautiful. What's the referee warning about? Beautiful. As you can see, he actually gives the referee a stare. He's pumping it up. She stands more flat for it. I can see Nevada's coming back in this round, actually. She's landing more punches in this round, more notable punches that I've seen. Alicia, um, see Nevada move, swing that right, right, jab round. Alicia still, still moving around. Go to the body. This, the pace has changed right now. Slick Ashley, beautiful boxing by Slick Ashley, and she's out. Beautiful. The only thing is, yeah, obviously you can see the power difference, yeah. That is not Nevada's still not, not, he's not backing her off. But it's, these are scoring punches. For me, they're calling the, the crowd are behind Jackie, as you can hear. Trying to cheer her on. She needs all the all the all the she needs all the support. Trust me, because on the scorecard she's down on the scorecards. Big she never right there. I think that block was blunched, blocked. But look at this the slick the slick work from um, Slick Ashley right there. The Aztec princess is doing more than what she's doing right now to try and get this to try and catch it to unify the belts. And this is where she needs to be right here, right now. This is where she wants. Toe to toe. Whoa. And the, the pace is tough. And the pace is torrent. Ah, you know what? I think Finney won that round right there. Navarre got Navarre winning that round. I'm going to change my round from round one. I'm going to give her... 
No, I'm not. No, I'm not. She only got one round on, the, on my scorecard so far. And that was it. Round six. Nevada's down. She needs every one of these rounds now to win the bout. Win the bout. Because from my scorecard, Slick Ashley's winning all these bouts. Whoa. Slick is still pumping at the jab right there. Using the uppercut. All the straight punches, but you can see Nevada's getting a bit closer now, and, and as you can see, Slikashi's not using her legs no more. She's standing flat-footed. As you re reason probably being because some of her last opponents, she stopped the combo. Beautiful, but hit and not be hit there. Beautiful hit, jab to the body, ducked underneath. Look at it, the big left hand from uh, from Slick Ashley. She keep pumping it up, and look a hook right there. All these little punches. They're scoring punches and the uppercut, beautiful left uppercut to the, to the head. Again, left uppercut and a right hook to the Nevada. Now the ref, these are all scoring punches. The ref, they look at that, a beautiful shot to the left hook to the body. Again, clean, the only clinch is very smart. They back up. Right now, for me, the champion Slick Ashley, the, 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 the WBC champion, is definitely getting the better of her. And she's on the move right now. Jackie now she <laughs> she needs to do more than what she's doing right now because Slick Ashley right now is, is showing some beautiful boxing skills right here in the art of the sweet science. Dude, look at this. Oh, there you go. Punch was a bit low there by Navar. Slick Ashley still pumping out. Look at it using all her experience. Has been all around, all around the world. Been Austria, Argentina, fighting out America. Now she's here in Mexico. Slick Ashley, Jackie Nava, the, um, the Aztec Princess, moving in. But she's right now, for me, she's definitely getting out pointed. As she's still walking down, still walking down, Slick Ashley. But for me, look at that. She made a miss, made a pay. Beautiful boxing by Slick Ashley. Whoa, nice little combination at the end. But for me, Slick Ashley got that round again. Got that round. Well, I think Nevada needs a knockout right now. She's going to try and win this fight right now. That's the only way I'm going to give her this fight. She needs a knockout. She needs a knockout, man. She's going to have to need a knockout, man. There's no other way. Uh, like, there's no need, like, what? A few rounds left. Or there's only a few rounds left. And she definitely needs a knockout. She's getting outpointed. I'm sure the school cars are saying this is in the replays right now. Look at this, jab to the body, and she missed with it. Look, we're talking about um, Ashley, take Ashley. Jab to the body, go to the body again. There we go, look, jab, and see? Left hand straight through the guard right there, you can see it. And again, the jab right through the guard goes to the body head. That hit the guard, to be honest, that's to be fair, the guard. There's, this is the end of the round. This is at the end of the round for Slick Ashley, but that's it. Other than that, um, Jack, you know how it hasn't got anything other than that. I think we're coming into round eight. WBA, uh, for WBA, WBC, uh, Super Bantamweight Championship, round eight. And Slick Ashley, and she's Nevada's down on the scorecard. She needs, she needs a knockout. Look at that, Slick Ashley still putting the jab, go to the body. Look at that, still landing punches. But you see, as she comes and flies, it helps the Aztec Princess that she's doing that. As you can see, look, on the move, Slick Ashley on the move. All she has to do is just keep keep on her feet and she can definitely she I think she can pull it off. Slack actually uh, Nevada goes to the body, goes to the body, it's quite low there. Well she's landing trying to land a right hand. Oh she's so nothing landing here right here. Slick actually still moves, she's got beautiful got good head movement. Slick actually. None both the combatants haven't really landed, no but right uh, not landing anything significant right now. Oh there, beautiful head holding. Under a minute left of the for the for this championship fight. Navarro's still moving in. Slakash needs a needs to do a head movement. She's not losing for over a head movement right now. Navarro's landed a hook other than that. There's nothing going on. It's, round, it's a quiet round for both of them. As you can see, look, Slakashi using her foot speed, using the head movement. Look at the movement. Again, Nevada's going to the body. Good jab to the body right there. Oh, definitely beautiful left hand by by Slick Ashley. And again, a right hook again. And she blocked that one. The right hand as well by Jackie Nevada. And again, you can see it. Beautiful. Straight left, straight. Jock, jock the Nevada's head back. Under 20 seconds left of, of the eighth round for the WBC, WBA Super Bantamweight Championship between the Jamaican um, Slick Southpaw, um, Slick Ashley. 
Alicia Slick Ashley and um, the Aztec Princess from Mexico City. Right now, double, they both hit each other, they both stun each other, and that, that round's a big round, but I've got Slick Ashley got that round right there as well. Uh, Alicia Ashley is, is up on the scorecards, and I, I don't see any other difference. I need a, the Aztec Princess needs a knockout. Um, and that's it. Full stop, she needs a knockout. Round nine. Let's see what she does here. Because she's down on the scorecards, big for me. Oh, they're going to war now, right now. Round quarter, they declare war on each other. And they're going backwards and forwards. I think Slick Ashley's trying to put a dig in her feet in the canvas and she's, she's going to cement. Right, she's out pointing now and now she's trying to prove something. And like I said, she's she's knocked a couple of people out. See the crowd trying to share a uh, see it. Uh, Jackie, uh, Jackie Navarro on. Jackie Navarro still moving in. Still moving in for the kill. But she, she's down on the scorecard. You see Slick Ashley still landing beautiful combinations. Still landing the punches. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful, beautiful punches there. Slick Ashley again with an uppercut. As she comes in, eating uppercut, eating straight as she comes in. And she's just taking punches. Again, look. Well, they both could, they're both in the top. Whoa! Jake, you know what? I caught with a good right hand right there. Look at that. Alicia Ashley, you got Alicia Ashley still landing the more punches. Like I said. The Jackie Noah definitely hits harder, as you can see the effect of the punches, but she's not throwing enough for me to win the round. Alicia that's cementing it, look at this, body shots. I know we're free trying to break in the uh, Alicia Ashley, Slick Ashley's holding the hit down. Under 40 seconds, under 30 seconds left of the ninth round for the WBC, WBA Super Bantamweight Championship in, uh, in Mexico City. For this women's, cha women's championship. Unification, but I'm sure for the winner, uh, big things on the horizon. For the loser, boy, I can stand like oh, slick actually, beautiful punches right there. Whoa, under 10 seconds of the ninth round. This is an like even round right now. Jackie Nova's done much better in this round, but still for me, slick actually definitely got the better of this round right here. And Jackie Nova's still trying to come in, and slick actually making a miss, and definitely make her pay. And I got slick actually winning that round. I don't see any other way. She needs a knockout. We're coming into the 10th round right now. And she needs a knockout. In my opinion, she needs a knockout. There's no other way. Um, Jackie Nava, she got maybe got the first round, right? But I don't think so, right? Um, I definitely gave her. Uh, what's it? I gave her the seventh. But that's it. Look at that. Look at this. You see in the replay right here. It's a bit messy, scrappy. But look, you can see it ready. Look, look at this. Body shots. Hitting. See, look, look, there you go. Made a miss, made a pay. Definitely, look at this. Muy, muy difícil, esta peleadora de Jamaica. Definitely. They need a knockout. I don't think she's winning the fight at all. I think she, I think Jackie Navarre, the Aztec Princess, needs a knockout. It's a shame, like, um, like I said, Jamaican. Uh, six Ashley's up. She hasn't got a more power in her hand, but it is what it is. And this is the last and final tenth and final round for the championship. Championship. This is for all the marbles. See what happens here. And they're going toe to toe. Slick Ashley. I don't think it's in her favour to be standing toe to toe because the obviously the challenge. They're both champions. Whoa! They're both going toe to toe. And Slick Ashley's got moving in combinations. Whoa! They're both going toe to toe. Slick Ashley still on the move. Still pumping her jab up. And she eats, uh, Slick Ashley eats her right right there. And she's an up. Whoa! She has his back with her left hook and her uh, right hands right there. Look at that. She keeps pumping her right. And look, Leash Ashley out working, out working Nevada. And she's making a miss. Definitely. The man needs a knockout or a knockdown. At least to, to do something on the core scorecard. She needs a, in my opinion, she's a knockout. Straight square. She needs a knockout. One minute under one minute left in the tenth round. And see Jackie um, see Slick actually going to the body. The punches you can see like there's both of them both of them, good defense skills by both of them. Both of them look pretty tight. Oh big right hand. And see, this is this is where Alicia, this is where uh, Slick actually doesn't want to be, to be honest with you. It suits uh, uh, Jackie Navarre when you're there standing square with her. He needs to keep pumping that jam and keep on the move. There you go, clinch, tie her up. 
And as you can see, there's only two minutes left of the round. The fight's almost done. Oh, she caught with a left hook right there. Oh, this is the most successful, Jackie Navarre. This is the most success. Ten seconds left of the round. But for me, I don't see a winning championship other than this, this, this little spurt here. And it's only because it's Slick actually caught a punch right there at the end of the round. Only because she just, only because she decided to take a punch at the end of the round. But for me, definitely Slick actually won the fight right there. I give, um, I give Jackie Navarre that last round. I don't, I don't know, she's got her hands up in the air. I don't think, well, in my opinion, I don't think she won that round. She won the last round, though. I only gave her, like, um, if anything, I only gave her three rounds. But not enough, definitely not enough to win the championship. But I think she won, man. I think she actually won the fight. Uh, she's cheering like she won the fight. I don't see why she thought she, why she won the fight other than that last round. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. I guess... Uh, Someone believes they're in, someone believes that they've, they've won the fight, eh? Let's see. This is the fight coming up. One Estrada defending his unified, unified belts. I'm sure he's going to fight Chocolate or something. Roman, Roman Gonzalez at some point. But we're seeing it. Let's go after, go to the scorecards for this championship bout. For WC, WBA, Super Bantamweight Championship. And the scorecards. I'm, I, you see them in the dressing rooms. So, uh, Giovanna Segura getting himself ready for the main event against uh, Juan Estrada. He's a bit, oh, he's a bit long in the tooth. That one there. Giovanni, Giovanni Segura. He's a bit long. He's been fighting for a while, man. He had a good fight though. He knocked out um, the, the poor Rican guy, the young poor Rican guy. But um, let's see. Let's go to the let's go to the scorecards and the master of ceremonies. Here we go. Damas y caballeros, después de 10 asaltos, nos vamos a las tarjetas de los jueces. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards for the session. El juez, judge, Chris Tellez scored this bout 98 to 92, 98 92. Raúl Kais Jr. scored this bout 95 to 95, 95 to 95. Y Rafael Caravaño scored this bout 97 to 93, 97 a 93. Por lo tanto, la ganadora por la vía de la decisión mayoritaria, the winner by the way of majority decision, a new WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World. I don't agree with them scorecards, man. I don't agree with them scorecards. I don't know what fight they were watching. I don't know how they got that them scorecards, man. Oh, they were wide as well. I think um, I have no fight what they were watching. But hey, look, hey, the, you, the Aztec Princess won, but I don't think she won the fight, to be honest with you. But it is what it is, man. Actually, because I think I'm a much uh, more well-rounded fighter now. Um, I don't just box. I feel that now I have a, a little bit more punching power, so I'm able to I'm able to change my game because of that. So I, I do feel I'm a better fighter now. And if I fought any of those per people that I lost to, then I would beat them. I agree. I agree. They, I agree. I think I, I think you do, but I think home court advantage or somewhere where it's neutral where. You fighting people, other fighters in their backyard, yeah, they they robbing you, Alicia, they robbing you, man. You get it, oh, they just, I can't believe it. Some of the decisions is, is the most awful decision, but as we say, boy, like, that's how things are, man. Um, well, we've covered the career of Alicia Sick Ashley. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this this um, this tutorial of Alicia Sick Ashley. Um, boy, I don't want to say, some of this isn't pretty bad, but you can see her excellent boxing skills. The first Jamaican black uh, female boxer, and um you know i appreciate um she's got excellent skills and we'll see what happens to Lisa Ashley. um see if she continues her career we're eagerly looking to see her next bout but we should see all right fight fans um i'm ej boxing live and i'll catch you another one peace